Hi friends, I am Simon. In this video, we are going to share disadvantages of electronic gadgets. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to our channel. So let's jump into the video. Electronic gadgets have revolutionized the way we work, play, shop and communicate. They are an ever-present part of modern life, but they don't come without a negative side. The disadvantages of electronic devices, including addiction, are receiving an increased amount of attention. Disadvantages of new technology include increased dependency of technology, often large cost involved with using the latest technology, especially for small business, increased risk of job cuts we are raising a new generation of children who lead device driven lifestyles while computers and handle devices are becoming more of necessities than luxuries our children shouldn't be inseparable from them stay easy up to two hours a day is quite safe but beware the following health problems that could arise from too much screen time and poor tech habits, besides the risk of addiction. First, back posture, back aches, neck and shoulder strain. It is an instantly recognizable silhouette. The figure hunched over a device. Pretty soon, that hunch is there even when the device isn't. To make it worse, the back and shoulder muscles start complaining too. An uncomfortable seat, a setup with poor ergonomics, sitting too long or slouching lazily. These are contribute to the problem. Laptop computers can aggravate things because the monitor and keyboard are so close. Users either lift their shoulder to type or hunch their shoulder to see. Second, pain in wrists, carpal tunnel syndrome. The classic overuse injury shows up as pain, stiffness or swelling in the fingers and wrist. Third, eye strain, dry eyes, a burning sensation, problems focusing. These are symptoms of eye strain that all device users commonly face. Bright light, high screen contrast, glare and flickering images may make a game or video more exciting but really take their toll on your eyes. Squinting at a small handle device adds to strain. An unaptured kid is also less likely to blink, which makes things worse. Additionally, not spending time on outdoor activities exposes children to the risk of developing myopia. Fourth, headaches. Children seldom get headaches, but too much screen time can bring one one. A combination of muscle tension at the base of the skull and an assault on the eyes is the usual case as well as stress. Fifth, stress. Time spent on devices may feel indulgent. But studies have shown that overuse increases stress levels instead. Constant stress over a prolonged period could adversely affect the heart, sleep, digestion, and emotions. Sixth, physical fatigue. Too much time on a device doesn't just drain the brain, it tears the body too. Being still for long periods reduces blood circulation and can put stress on muscles and joints. The result getting tired without even moving much. 7. Poor sleep patterns. Research has confirmed exposure to mobile phones and other devices can cause changes in brain activity and sleep disturbances. This could also be a stress symptom. 8. Obesity. Tech devices make great babysitters because they keep kids still for so long. But that lack of physical activity is a major contributing factor to childhood obesity and its accompanying risks. And note down, 
that playing video games of a violent nature can have a negative effect on your child's behavior. If you like this video, please support our channel and share this video to save kids from harmful ultraviolet devices.